we're back with another episode of the greatness that is Tower of God. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Is that Rachel? Is that Rachel? I feel like I can recognize Rachel's voice. I would honestly, if, if Tower of God were to get so popular that it becomes like super mainstream, like think of like, like, you know, One Piece level, Naruto level, everybody will hate Rachel. Everybody. There she is. There she is. This dude is still trying to jump people, man. Chocolate bar. Now, I don't remember this. Like, I don't remember that little girl and that woman. I don't know if they're going to be like important or if they're going to do if, or if they're going to do anything big. Like, I don't remember anything about them at all. I do remember the blonde guy and I do remember that guy with the low wing. And of course, I remember this. Uh, this uh, beast of a man. Now, who's going to turn down chocolate? Let's be real, right? Nobody turns down chocolate unless it's from a stranger. But in this case, it's OK, because, you know, that dude, he's probably immune to poison. So. Oh, I need to listen to the opening. I wonder if it's as good as the first one. You know, he, he had a lot of debt because he, you know, taking the exam and all that. So if you were to climb, uh, like how do they collect on that debt? You know what I mean? One of the daughters of the 10 great families. So she must be to some extent powerful, right? Well, he's probably here to collect my boy. Probably to follow him around. So he, he makes sure he pays. Also, they're all, so he's getting carried is what he's saying. That dude is getting carried. I mean, what else are you going to name it, right? Like, there was not a lot of imagination behind that name. Really now? How is he going to deal with this guy? How is he going to deal with this guy? How is he going to crush this guy? I guess we're going to find out, huh? I remember this guy. I remember this little bro. I got I love when anime uh, animes do this. The way they, they have some sort of machine uh, where it tests, you know, your like power level. You could say. I love when they do that, especially when there's like a big scene. Uh, so far, my favorite one is Fairy Tail, the drunk girl. Whenever she used uh, what was it, fairy glitter? I um, mean, I love that scene so 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 much. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's first. <laughs> Oh, man, when you have bad luck, man, you have bad luck. I'm like, there's no way that episode is over, right? Kind of salty that we skipped so many people. Are we going to get to see the new guy? I got to say, for her being somebody from the 10 families, the way that, like, why does she need money, right? Like, you would think she would just be stumping everybody here, right? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Kind of like the princess of jihad in season one, right? Man, this little guy is talking, he's talking a lot of crap. He's, talk, he's talking like really confident. I wonder if he will have the same energy if uh, if he wasn't surrounded by some big, strong guys. Ooh, there we go, 11,000. Well, might as well be 12, right? Oh, we're gonna see what she can do. We're gonna see what she can do. Maybe she's just, you know, just living in the moment, right? Like maybe she's just carefree, doesn't really, I'm, do I'm done with her. I'm done with her. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not done with her. I'm, I'm never mind. So why is she letting him do all that to her, right? Maybe she was disowned by the family and she doesn't have any money. I really don't remember who she is. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't remember this guy either, but maybe, maybe he can back up the talk. You know what I mean? Damn. They're putting up some big numbers. We're about to see how much she can do, how much damage she can actually do. Is this dude eating fried chicken right there in the background? Oh, GG will play. He, he's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. Wow. 134,000. GG will play it. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't even his all, right? Ah, we didn't get to see the name. We didn't get to see the name. I mean, he did say it was Viole, but we didn't get to see the name. That's a, that's a short way to see things. You don't know what that person went through, right? I mean, sure, maybe some people are born with power and they have it a little easier than others. 
But you, you never know the circumstances of somebody. You know what I mean? You never know what they went through to get that powerful. If he chooses you, he's pretty much just carrying you. You know what I mean? Bro, this guy. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I like his energy, though, you know? I love his energy. He's doing whatever, whatever it takes to get picked, man. Hey, which, hey, you got to love that energy. You know what I mean? I mean, he's begging too much, but, you know, like I said, you got to do what you got to do. Yo, everybody's begging now. Everybody's begging now. <laughs> oh, man. Even this guy's begging? All right. Bro, the, everybody from the original first exam are all begging, man. This dude. Yo, this dude is something else. See, that's the, that's the difference. I, I, are you trying to, like... Say you deserve to go up there because you're part of the one of the ten great families. Nah, that's not how that works. My boy. Viole. So he's making him actually pick. Viole Grace. Yo, you get, that's a that's a that's a that's a name with some energy to it. Now, remember, remember, this guy, he's a uh he already climbed the tower. Like the people that administer the test, those are people that already climbed the tower. Now, he might not be a ranker. He might be a uh, just, you know, a regular person that climbed the tower. You know what I mean? No big deal. Uh, but aside from that, he should still be very powerful. Again, he climbed the tower. Uh, what do you mean, take a bath, bro? Uh-oh, is he going to come here to finish the job? Oh, so that's why. There you go. So that's why she's probably dealing with this situation. If she fails again, so she messed up. And the 10 families, they don't play around. Ignored. Yeah, and why does he have that crest? How is he connected to Jihad? Because I'm pretty sure having like a, like a family ring you know, has something to do with it, right? Definitely a connection. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Man, this episode went by so fast. So fast. All right, we got episode two of season two of Tower of God. And it's just another great episode. Now, this episode was not as action-packed as before. I could definitely see some people not liking this. Uh, but me, I just love about the lore of Tower of God, right? Every time we get introduced to somebody from like the Tangred families, I always want to learn more about them. Every time we get introduced to, for example, like Fug and stuff like that, I want to learn more about that organization. But then on top of that, right, we got the people that are ministering the test. And it seems like that dude has a bone to pick with Fug, right? So more of the story, you know, not every episode has to be action-packed and a fight here and there. No. But I do think every story needs to have some intriguing plot lines to kind of move everything forward. And this episode definitely checked that box. Uh, now, I will say, I, I really hope they get through this part. I don't know if the whole season is going to be with Viole and, you know, this cast of, uh, of members. Because uh, I definitely, I remember when I was reading the webtoon, man, I really just wanted to get back to like the old cast, right? You know, Kuhn, Bam, and all of them, right? Uh, I wanted to see what they were doing, right? So I really cannot wait for them to reunite uh, and like come together, these two different groups. Uh, but I know it's going to be a while and it's probably not going to be in this season, right? And I could definitely see some people getting frustrated with that. I don't know why the author did that, but I, it will make sense later in the future, right? But it's just like, it's so hard because... Season one left with such a cliffhanger, and then we don't address that for a very long time. And that's kind of sad if you ask me. But, you know, let me know what you think of episode two. I still think it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, but, you know, let me know what you think. Like always, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Bye.